everyone. Today we have with us Jagriti Sahu, a chemical engineering graduate from IIT Delhi. Jagriti has been awarded the Indian Nano Research Fellowship and has interned at the University of Notre Dame. She, in her third year, she also did an uh, industrial internship at the Hindustan Unilever Limited. Uh, apart from this, she has also been an active part of the Nactus IIT Delhi team. Uh, Jagriti is now going to join the chemical engineering engineering department at Georgia Tech for her PhD. So, Jagriti, tell us about your research experience so far. So I started off with my first research project as a NERV fellow at mm -hmm. University of Notre Dame. So when I was applying for these internships in my third, uh, third and fourth semester, so we uh, till then we had done only a few courses in chemical engineering. So based on whatever I, idea I had about the ongoing research in chemical engineering and based on the courses that we had done, we I applied for some of the projects and I got selected in this project. So this was a very interesting project where I got to work on uh, the charged mosaic membranes and elucidating their fundamental transport properties. It was an experimental project and we also got a paper publication out of it. So it always remains a very memorable experience for me and uh, Notre Dame was a beautiful place and everybody in the lab was very supportive when I was working there. After coming back from Notre Dame, I realized that I wanted to pursue academic research further. So I joined the lab of Professor Anurag Rathor in our chemical engineering department and I started working on monoclonal antibodies. So by the end of third year, I had idea about academic research. So further, I wanted to explore uh, explore the scope of chemical engineering in, in the industry and therefore I decided to do an internship in the R&D division of Hindustan Unilever. So uh, the experience at Hindustan Unilever was completely different as compared to my research projects at IIT and uh, in the US. So uh, I was uh, in Unilever, I was working on the development of a cold cream in the pilot plant scale. And I was working with the regional deployment center of the skincare division. So I got to work with their global teams in Shanghai and Trumbull. I also got, got to interact with the people in the supply chain division, the claims division and the, and the marketing division. So you can see that there is a lot of difference between academic research and the research that goes on in the industry. So when I came back uh, from Unilever, I realized uh, so I realized that I wanted to pursue academic research further because I found it the most suitable for me and f I continued my research in the lab of Professor Anurag Rathor in the field of monoclonal antibodies and over time I have developed an, uh, developed an interest in that field. Okay, so did you face any problems during your internship at Notre Dame? Uh, so, uh, just because it was a new place, so initially there were a lot of hurdles while I was trying to adjust in that place. Um, so I was the smallest among everybody in the water lab group. I joined the water lab group. So and also I was the only girl in that group. So initially I, fa uh, I faced problem interacting with other members of that group. So I remember the first person to whom my professor had introduced me. He was a grad student there. So he could notice that I was he I was a bit hesitant in talking to all the members. So he came to me and he introduced himself to me again. And then he shared his stories when he visited with his family to India. And that is how we connected. So um, after that, he introduced me to all the other members of that group. And, I, and they also ensure, ensured that by the end of my first month in the US, I become an integral part of that group. I also got to participate twice in the weekly lab meetings, uh, during the weekly lab meetings in those two months. And uh, I, was, I was given the opportunity to present my research. My professor also ensured that I am keeping him updated with my research. So I was given a lot of importance in that group and that uh, and it felt really nice. Okay. So, uh, since you have done projects both here at India, at ITD and uh, abroad, uh, what are the major differences you found out? Uh, so, the, a couple of differences that I found out between the research atmosphere in the US and India. Is, uh, the first difference is, is the perception of undergraduate students towards research in the US. So, uh, I was working in the NERF program, so we had a lot of undergraduates from all over the world. And in my group, I, in the group in which I was working, I, we had some undergrads from Notre Dame itself. So 
I could see that they were very actively involved in the research work they were doing. They were very passionate about their research. They used to par participate during the lab group discussions. So that was a surprise for me because it is a rare site in IIT. Also, they used to regularly interact with their grad students and with their professors. So I found it very nice. Also, and it was a very big learning opportunity for me because I was not used to that kind of environment. Also, another difference that I found there was that the access to resources for research is much easier there as compared to India. So it again varies from lab to lab. So, uh, I have been working with Professor Athar, so I have not faced any such difficulties in his lab, but I have seen my friends facing such difficulties. So, I think uh, this thing was better in US as compared to India. Okay. So, uh, share some of the memorable experiences you had during your stay in US. So, uh, the whole entire experience of Notre Dame has always been a very memorable one for me. I always had this notion about the life of grad students that their life is kind of boring and they are always busy with their studies. They are always working in the lab or reading the research papers. So, uh, during my internship, I got the opportunity to visit Purdue University with my fellow uh, co-interns. So, when I went there, my notion, this notion regarding the life of grad students got completely changed because I met a bunch of IITians there who were pursuing their grad studies at Purdue. So, uh, we spent a weekend with them and it was a very fun weekend for me because we got to, I got to interact with them, I got to know about their life, their vacations and we played games, we partied, so it was a very fun experience and I enjoyed a lot during that time. Okay, so uh, for a majority of the students here at IT Delhi, uh, the path after completing their uh, degrees, it's too obscure, like they aren't sure what to do next. So any views, so what do you want uh, to share about? So I totally agree, like especially in IIT where you have so many opportunities, <laughs> you can go for consulting, you can go into data science, finance, core research, or core FMCG. So there are so many opportunities. So people often tend to get confused. And even I was, by, by the end of third year, even I was not sure what I wanted to pursue in my life. And after exploring different options, I came to this conclusion that I want to pursue further studies. So I feel that it is completely okay if you're not sure about what you want to pursue in your life. What you can do in this regard is that IIT gives you a lot of time, like you get summer vacations and winter vacations. So if you feel that you want to pursue a field but you're not sure, then you should definitely explore that field. You should have some options in your mind and you should explore each and every field to know what you like and what you don't. So even at the end of four years, you will get an idea about what you don't want to do in life. And it is completely okay if at the end of four years, you don't know what you want to pursue because then you can take a break and then you can try out, like you can take a break of one year and try out some other things and then come to a conclusion. So is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Uh, so there are a few things that I would like to tell my juniors in IIT, which, had hel which have helped me a lot during my journey at IIT. So the first important thing is that when you come to IIT, there are a lot of opportunities that you get. So I think apart from academics, you should definitely have a hobby or join a club so that whenever you feel stressed out or tensed, you go to that place and you enjoy yourself and you get to learn different things. Apart from academics, you're learning different things and you're meeting new people also. So uh, it is very important to prioritize your happiness over other things. And also if you're feeling stressed out or tense sometimes, you should definitely reach out to your seniors and your professors. So they are not going to judge you for anything. Even if you're wrong somewhere, they will guide you in the right path. And also they have been, to th been through that situation when they were stu uh, students in their student life. So I think people like, Many people do that, but many people don't do that and in that case they suffer a lot. So people should reach out to their seniors and professors. Apart from this, I think that if you are inclined towards research, so you should definitely give it a try. It is a common perception among people that research is a very slow process and uh, the impact that you 
create on lives of people is very less in research so what i feel is that when you are pursuing gra um, grad studies you are able to choose your projects so you can find a project that interests you and uh, that interests you and you are enjoying that project so that is more important also during the whole pro research is an evolving process it is continuously evolving and during that process you learn a lot of things like you get a, no a lot of knowledge about the field on which you're doing your research and you you learn a lot of things about yourself so that is very important so i think and also there uh, people think that they will land up taking a faculty position after pursuing grad studies and uh, i have been in touch with a lot of seniors who are pursuing grad studies abroad but and i felt that that is not the case a lot of opportunities open up if you're pursuing grad studies like you can even go for consulting you can join uh, join the r&d team at a big firm you can go for faculty position or scientist position in government uh, organizations so yeah that's all i would like to like uh, tell my students okay. thank you jagmeet it was really great having you thanks for having me here okay.